So this is a collaborative project between uh, Imperial College and uh, Dhaka University in Bangladesh and another organization which is ICDDRB. So in Bangladesh, uh, most of the people, uh, over 90 percent of the total population rely on uh, groundwater for their drinking purposes. However, if you go into the coastal areas, particularly in the low-lying southwest region of the country, the groundwater is too salty there. The people in that area rely on rainwater for their drinking purposes. But if you see the rainfall, uh, it's happened only few months of the year, mostly between May and October, and other months are dry. So people during that during the dry period, people has to rely on other sources uh, like pond or river. But uh, these ponds are purposeful. These ponds are purpose built uh, for they use this pond to collect rainwater. And if, uh, for instance, uh, these ponds are very big. For instance, this uh, one of the, if you see the one side of the pond is 30 meter, the other side is 100 meter. So these are around uh, 3,000 square meter. And the rainfall is around 2,000 millimeter there. So if you total off them, you would end up with around 6 million liters of rainfall in those uh, pond. If you take half of it uh, away as an evaporative uh, loss, you will end up with uh, 3 million. But these 3 million uh, liters of water would be enough for a community. As these are the rainwater, they should be fresh. But we find that these ponds, waters are not fresh. Uh, they got uh, salinity level, which is beyond uh, the acceptable limit in most cases. So, and the salinity is not readily explainable, explainable. So, we are trying to understand why the salinity is in this pond. And excluding that things, due to the climate change, the other things are coming into the scene, like uh, storm surge and uh, other. Uh, episodic events like uh, high extreme high tides. So, in, so we are also trying to understand how these episodic events will affect the salinization process in those drinking water uh, pond as well as uh, shallow groundwater in that part of the country. We are collecting various hydrological data. Uh, using our own monitoring networks. Establishment of the network in that part was uh, somewhat challenging because that area is remote. So in July 2013, I established uh, the monitoring network at two sites in that part and uh, established a platform in the, in the middle of the pond and we put a high resolution uh, a monitoring network there. So we are monitoring uh, the rainfall evaporation and at the same time we are monitoring the changes in the pond and in the groundwater. So in the pond and in the groundwater we are uh, measuring the salinity and the change in the levels and temperature at a 15 minute intervals. So this is a very high resolution data set we are acquiring and we are also measuring how much water is being abstracted from, from the pond for drinking purposes and every month we collect a water sample from the pond and then groundwater to have the direct measurements of the salt concentrations and these uh, measurements will allow us uh, to see how these things change over, a, over, over, over this temporal scale. Uh, this is a work in progress. So, at the end of this project, we will have better understanding how these uh, extreme climatic events and uh, 
and sea surface temperature or uh, rising sea level will affect the salinization process of drinking water in the coastal areas. But in general speaking, the climate change will have an effect on the sea surface temperature, precipitation and the sea level will rise. So all these uh, climatic, climatic process will have effect on the inundation in the coastal areas. Hence, it will affect the drinking water salinization. In our case, it will increase the salinization in the coastal areas. So, an previous study from Bangladesh uh, shows that the increase, future increase of sea surface temperature and the rise in the sea level will will increase the risk area for storm surge uh, and the depth of inundation would also increase. Uh, these, these things will increase the F, uh, exposure area. So a lot of people in future will be exposed to the high salinity. And recently we did a uh, we did an assessment for the drinking water exposure to the climate change along the whole Asian coast, uh, in the Southeast Asian coast, I'd say. And we incorporated six variables, and these were elevation from the sea level and the rainfall, cyclonic uh, frequencies and the um, availability of the drinking water, uh, availability of the groundwater. And we also included uh, the, how the geomorphology varies along this coast. And above all, we included the density of the population. So it's including all these variables, we find that the, the delta portion of the coast is most vulnerable. and Bangladesh, particularly the southwest, turned out to be one of the most vulnerable regions along this coast. And, and two other deltas from B Vietnam, the Red River and the Mekong, they are also vulnerable in terms of uh, drinking water salinization process.